Hi, today welcome again to Taft City. Um, uh, today it's a green day. Because it's a, it's, a, it's a green city, we have to be riding bicycles here. No cars, huh? Zero cars. There we go. Oops. Whose bike is this? Oh, you have to take it. That's from us. Shall we? Oh, we're going that way? Right, that's true. We have a bicycle lane. Here we are on approaching uh, Bena Estate. Uh, the entrance is all done now, and uh, with your bike, you have a bicycle lane and also um, um, a vehicular entrance. The vehicular entrance, you have um, those going in and going out, and you have the security right there to secure everybody with their card. So bicycle and pedestrian will go through here. And this is what you do, you go through there. And this is Benna so far. This is nine months um, after we started this project. You can see we've started planting all the flowers and the interlocking is, in, is all done now. The solar lights are all done here. So, um, Welcome to Benna Estate. Welcome Here to we Benna. <laughs> Benna, 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 Benna Estate. So this is Benna Estate, um, uh, 60 housing units all done. One can see uh, these are the solar lights all fitted already. And then uh, the houses are here, for example, so one like this, uh, you can see all the numbers on the pillars at the entrance, this is BN 146, BN meaning Bena 146, and so on, it goes on. So far, all the infrastructure has been put in place. These cables that you see here, it's all underground, this is the power. So here you will not see any wires crossing. This cable here is the, is the main power that comes in here. Um, uh, there's a power pillar here, and then these are the ones that are going into the houses. And you can see, these are all underground cables. This goes into the houses. Also, uh, in here, you've got the water pipes are all in. Further down, you will see that we have high-speed high internet here. Uh, so, so these cables that you see here are for, um, uh, for, for, for the, for, for the um, telecommunication. So it's fiber optic. So you're going to have fiber optic here, so it's high speed. And um, you, one can see here that all the plants have been done. These are the palm trees that we have planted. And um, yeah, interlocking is being ongoing. The palm trees are being done. And one can see all the flowers in place. These are the interlocking blocks. So in every, every house, you will see that it's all paved like this with the interlocks. So that's all done there. This is all paved already where we're walking now. So it's a six meter wide road. And then you have now uh, this path here for uh, pedestrian and also for bicycles. All the colors are all in, uh, the railings are there. Um, one can see all the plants all done, the flowers all in. We're at the finishing stage now. So, so we, we bring in a lot of flowers and plants and interlocking, as I said, is ongoing now. You will see what is happening here. All this road work has been done already. All this road work has been done. And then what is going on is that you have the guys fixing the last end of the interlock in there. That's what they're doing now. They're fixing all the interlocking blocks at the edge. 
There you go. So this guy is just infilling the interlocking blocks. That's what he does. No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, go ahead, go ahead. So you see? That's what he's doing. Fixing all the interlock. So the reason why we use interlocking blocks is that anytime there's a repair that we need to do, just, you know, remove the blocks, do your repairs, and then fix it again. As you expect, I'm very excited about the Tough City project. And um, one of the things I really love is the finishing of all these houses. And just seeing everything come together, I want to talk you through some of the things that we have at the Bena Estate. For example, the steel doors. They're solid steel doors, but then we don't want to lose the beauty. We have some wooden aspects on it. Um, the door banger, of course. You come inside and we have the doors, the internal doors. They're PVC doors, solid also, with the beautiful locks. Of course, neutral colors. The be we have to always have the functionality, but also the beauty. Of course, the uh, burglar proofs, we have very solid ones. You can see that we put our burglar proofs inside, inside the houses, just because it's more secure and we can still keep the beauty in and outside of the properties. We move on to the tiles. The tiles are porcelain tiles, Spanish porcelain tiles. They're uh, gloss, they're uh, matte finishing, meaning it's, it's easier to clean and it's safer for our kids, the ones that run around. Of course, again, neutral colors that we want to keep. That way you can furnish your house any way you want. At the Bene Estate, we have furnishing options. You can actually buy your house for rental or you want to move in. And we can, have, we can offer the furnishing packages. We have the white goods only, ACs only, partly finished or fully furnished. We can do all of these. So the kitchen that we have in the Bena estate, you can have the tiles, they're neutral colors. We have different options of kitchens with um, different colors. We also have an option for islands, for much bigger um, kitchen options that is. Um, we try to make these living areas very spacious. So the kitchen would be tiled, they're all porcelain tiles and neutral colors that will go with any choice of your kitchen. Tough City is um, a huge uh, city, obviously, from one estate to the other. And that is why we encourage biking here. Here we are about to um, ride into Bena Estate. As you can see, uh, Bena, which was started uh, some nine months ago, uh, is almost done now. So what we're doing now is just uh, finishing up um, all uh, the works by painting. As you can see, the gates are already in. Uh, we also have some boom, like some electronic booms that are coming here. So when you come in, um, you will be controlled. And it's only residents who are living or have properties in, uh, in Bena that will be allowed to come in. If they have guests, uh, you will have to go through uh, security. Uh, first from the main entrance, uh, and then there's an um, intermediate um, access, and then you now have the final one here. This all to just um, a sort of security for all the residents, so we don't have anybody coming in here who is not wanted. So this is Bena, and we hope that uh, very soon he will be living here. So here you go, so when you come in, you can ride, go anywhere you want. As you can see, you come in, and um, all these are all interlocking blocks. Uh, they are all done now, so we're just grouting with the fine sand. Uh, then the landscaping, as you can see, we've got all the landscaping in place. Electrics are all done on the ground. And then you have, um, the water is also done. Fiber optic cable also, you can see all those red pipes are for fiber optic cable. These lights, as you can see here, are all solar lights. 
So uh, if you come here now at night, it's all well lit up, very well lit up. We are confident that we will definitely finish this project ahead of time. Our target is uh, in December, but um, as you can see, we're just uh, finishing up the roads now. Hi, hi! <laughs> yeah, very, very spacious and, um, you know, just doing all the finishes. The, uh, inter the pavements are done there. You can see the slabs. So those are the walkways. So um, you don't have to walk on the, on the road itself. Or, you know, you, you walk on the walkway. There are, sp there are special zones for the walkway. We're far ahead. Uh, so uh, you can see these are all the interlock. Um, the houses out there are being painted and the uh, finishings are on, like BN, BN110, as you can see there. They're doing all the finishes. And then um, uh, well drained. Because what we've done here, I mean, we have some, some, some surface drains, as you can see. Like now, um, with, um, with Benna, all the rainwater drains into here. So all the drain water, that's where it, it's, there's a surface drain where it drains into. And one thing that we have done here, the floor levels of all the buildings um, are one meter above the 100 year flood line. So um, uh, I'm not saying, it is almost impossible to see a flood here. The recent floods that we saw in town, I mean here the water just drained off because all the designs um, uh, were done by our engineers and master planners. So um, uh, drainage really, it's, it's very well done here. Drainage, the sewage, you know, water reticulation, the power, uh, mostly generated through solar. Uh, but we have a backup of using Navek as a backup. Hi everyone, my name is Anita C and I'm marketing manager for TAF Africa Global. Welcome to TAF City. Right, so today we'll be cycling around Taf City and going through Banner Estate with our CEO, Mr. Njai, and also the general manager, Baja Njai. So they'll be taking you through all the exciting updates and showing you some of the finishes that we have here. I am going to be doing something else. So today we're going to be talking to some of the people that make this all happen. They say it takes a village to raise a child. Well, Taf City is our baby and there's a lot of people involved. Let's go meet some of them. I think a good place to start, probably with Keba and Mohammed. They've been here a long time, but I see them every day on site. Let's see what they get up to over here. Actually, my name is Keba Jain. I'm a manager at Top City here. I, I do the procurement. Generally, I take stuff of everything that happens in Top City. Um, actually, I started Top in 1998 when I started as an intern. I, I was an intern for four years. Then later I went back to do my diploma at GCTI. Yeah, I make sure that everything goes well. Every worker is here on time, and especially on quality. That's the most important thing, and discipline on site. Um, when I did my internship like for four years, and then I have the opportunity when the AU summit came to the Gambia, I have the opportunity of supervising six houses. So from there, I was awarded one of the best supervisors. That's when I started growing in tough construction. I worked in Nigeria as a building engineer, which I have the opportunity given to me by my MD, the able youth man, Mustafa Njai. I spent five years in Nigeria, which I did in Port Harcourt at the Gulf Estate. And I had the opportunity to go to Lagos. I was in Lagos for a year, building our head office at Lagos. Starting working here for 22 years now, there is a lot of job opportunity here, which you can have at Tough Global. Lot of opportunity. You can take example from me because I started as an intern. Now I'm a manager. 
Um, my name is Mohamed Williams. I started working in this company for um, from 2002 up till date. I'm still working, but I can. I want to explain from to you how I started my career in this company because I started as a security in this company at Taf Annex Apartment. I applied for receptionist, but at that present time there was no job for this, for receptionist. They told me that it was a security job. So I said, okay, good. Before going sitting down, doing nothing, let me just grab that security job. Because with all my certificate, I don't mind to take a security job just to make ends meet. Yes. So within a year, they, they need a uh, receptionist at that time, and then I applied. When I applied, two of us applied, and they gave us um, two weeks, um, some notes to that we should be studying, and then who we'll take first on that exam will pass. But one of my guys, I think he was afraid or something like that, he backed out. So no need for me for exam anymore. So that's how I'll be a receptionist. I've been in the receptionist from in 2003, till 2005, and then uh, Mr. Njai, tough wife, took over as the manager. And then I worked with her in 2003 to 2005, and then she promoted me as uh, assistant manager. From assistant manager, I was there till 2017. The apartment, we closed that apartment. And then still, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Njai, tough wife, said, no, this guy is a very good guy, hard, hard, hard working. We have to transfer him somewhere else. And then that's why they took me, they took me to, to the main office at Brofoot, at the Madema Mall. And then they give me a position as a property management officer. I've been there from 2017 to 2018. And then they need somebody at the block site. And they were looking for somebody who is hard working and is always dedicated on his job ready to, to sacrifice anything for the job, they know that I'm the one. So I appreciate the appointment. I took the job again as a site manager at Dalaba then. So from Dalaba, we switch off to Tulip. From Tulip, still I'm still managing Tulip because I have some machines there also at Tulip. I have two machines there that I'm producing blocks. And then here I have three machines at um, Tough City here. I'm the, Yes, so these are, the, these are one of the machines, and you can see the other, one over, the other two over there. At Tulip, I have two machines there also that I'm manning. So all in all, I'm manning five machines for the company, and all these blocks and the interlock you are seeing in this estate, and in Taft Estate, I'm the one. The young ones also, don't say that I have this certificate, I, I'm just from this level, so I will not do any kind of job. You have to take what you have until you get what you want. It's an advice for the young ones. Because some people now, they say, no, this is not my field or this is not my qualification. No, take it. You don't know what will come next. You don't know what will come next. Just look at my story from a security to a receptionist. And before that security, I forgot. I was doing the cleaning also. Housekeeping, I do housekeeping at Tough Annex. Yeah, so because of all this dedication, I'm Taf's wife, Mrs. Njai, Jatun Njai, saw me doing, sacrificing. She appreciates my, my, my effort, and then I'm here where I am today. Landscaping is really important here at Taf City. And you know what? Let's give credit to the people that make it happen. Let's go meet some of the ladies that make this landscape so beautiful. Should we do that? Let's do that. Ento misi bisan bulete, mata gunjur leto, mata doko la jang, dalam musol la supervise oti, so janda doko le gardena, flower tutu, doko ni akontano warta bakal, every day ni nata katar aktif pruning of flower tutu, a experience bas oti, because before many malo ikakan unyang bersai ngobi karangjan ni ngalo, akontan tabake. Nak doku start yang kabur iba start lah nung waktu mina kabur waktu bijan doku lah. Saya entol bijan ni pur musol kah musol sembilan tu yang doku ni akon tano warat ab musol bi entol min bi bijan mobile life dia entol saya. Dia bap cento mi alam kong kake di end of di karofat mobile kela nafakem so akon tan terbakel doku yang akon tan bawa.
pour l'autre. Je Ok, Kai, 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 Ok. Ok, je vais faire ça. Si vous faites un gel, vous allez faire ça. 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 Vous My name is Yvonne Demba, a student from Stalin Technical Training Institute. I'm working with Ematech Gambia Limited at Tuff City as an electrician. I've been here for six months working with uh, Ematech. I'm coming from Costa Road, traveling every day to come here to work. And I am a female. I'm in a main dominated area and I love what I'm doing too. I'm a woman, but I love mingling with men, doing my work and I'm doing it perfectly. And also seeing many women here who are coming to work here every day and they are making success and I want to be part of them. So with, with my skill and I am proud of what I'm doing and I want to see myself for a Sikkanamrek. I'm going to see myself Man, I believe in the jigging. Doing talk rec, si kerge ne jigging like then wara ne ka yai, wara ne ka si rige kerge. We can do both. Munda nyo yo balay, munda nyo ne ka si kerge, munda nyo ne ka office. Why? Likewise, tam it's a male dominated area. We are all not to be sitting in office. Some have to be in somewhere, like doing skills and other things. It's all about development, and we need to grow. Fi tough city na, lige ibari na fi. Focus on one thing, no. Works are so much here, the technical jobs are plenty. We can be doing one can be a plumber, another one can be an electrician, you can be a mason. All those stuffs are here in Tough City. Any kind of work you, you want, you can do it at Tough City. It's been a very long day and um, uh, people have been asking about Tough City at night. So I just thought I will stay over, you know, uh, this long at night just to show that, look, Tough City is powered. And every light that you see here lit up, it's solar, 100% solar for now. As I said, we will be connecting to Nawek as a backup. But for the time being, everything that you see here it's all solar powered. So 100% uh, is green, it's a green city. And once you're green, then, you know, uh, using alternative energy is a must. Ah, are you still here after now? Yes, I think it's time to go. Everything looks great, the lights are working. Let's go home, everybody. Ah, Let's go. I, I, think, I think we need to find, you know, a room here. 
up. Oh, get our rooms ready with no, big no, beds. No, 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 no. no. Wait, wait, why don't we just show you what, what we have inside, huh? <laughs> at night. You know, Benna at night. You can see how beautiful it is, huh? It's All lovely. nicely lit up. That's the security gate here with the lights. And then when you come in, these are all the solar powered lights, as you can see. These are all solar powered and they, they come with a sensor. So if there's no object under it, I mean, it will dim. So it doesn't consume that much energy. Then there you go. You can see how well lit up it is, you know, um, and quite safe. And we've just planted all the plants, as you can see now, all planted out. Um, uh, but it will grow and will be bushier and really nice. So um, uh, this is Benna. You know, you can see all the um, uh, street, the, the house numbers are all on. When you come in, you turn this here. When you turn into here, you will see the, the lights as they are. I feel like just coming to move into the Benna now. We're in trouble. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's lovely, it's lovely, yeah? It's a dream come true. Yes, yeah, spending 12 hours here now, huh? Since in the morning, imagine, <laughs> huh? You see? Far and down, those ones are all dim now because there's nothing underneath. And just watch, the moment I walk under the light, the moment I walk through here, and then, it, 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 it lights up. That's what it does. So it goes through here. Hi guys, you guys are still working? Wow. Well done, huh? Yeah, so this is an area where we've done all the, all the interlocking all done. So for now, it's all landscaping, huh? So if you were to move in here, we, by th we think by December, people will move in here, you see, the lights are on. Once an object once an object goes under the light with the sensor, it comes on. Yes, really, really nice. Tough city by night. I think Anita, we need to go home now. Yes, so, please. It's getting late. Huh? Till next time. Thank What's you it? so much for watching. Yeah. Banner Estate, we'll see you soon. Thank you. We'll connect later.